What's up with it once again, people, humanity, fanboys and fangirls, and as always, we'll talk to Nikki Gomez out there. Here's the Mr. Nintendo Sony Freak 2011, aka Manny Wolverine. Of course, you guys are interested in Chosen Natural Sources channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all the other good stuff. I got a little bit of good news before I get with the bad news. Well, not for me personally, but for the gaming industry as a whole. And probably for a lot of mainstream rap industry as well. Possibly, I don't know. I haven't followed mainstream map rap since like 2011, I think. Eight and a half years, seven and a half, eight and a half years, doesn't matter. I usually listen to a lot of underground rap, if not occasionally once in a while I listen to jazz. Most of the time I listen to a lot of underground hip hop and fucking um, the real fucking hardcore rap shit, not the real fake ass shitty like radio friendly garbage that we have nowadays. <clears throat> but um, that along with a lot of video game music. Obviously I listen to a shitload of video game music. And a little bit of anime, like J-pop, K-pop music, occasionally here and there, halfway to the time. But anyways, this is an older, like, um, <clears throat> older article here from, like, this dude again. I'm really tired as fuck about talking about this fucking washed-out-ass rapper, DeAndre Cortez, or better known, Salja Boy, because that's how he used to say it back in the day. It makes me feel like an old baby boomer, but it is what it is. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, so links in the description box down below from comic book there. But I got a little bit of good news for you. A little bit more positive vibe news I'm going to give you before I get to the negative shit. And this goes to show, prove, especially in mainstream media society, that not every single video game out there, oh my God, ran out. I'm going to be 30 years old in less than like 15 days by the time I'm recording this video. So less than two weeks almost. By the time, um, <laughs> well, by the time this video goes up, it'll be like before that, but you get what I'm saying. I'm going to be hitting my 30s pretty so fucking soon. And even then, I don't care if I, if God forbid, not God forbid, like, Lord willing, if he actually makes it happen, if I hit 70, 80, or 90 years old. If I'm still lucky, I'll still be playing fucking games. I don't give a shit. And by then, society will be a lot more different than like video game industry. They'll finally start treating it like the movie and mu music industry and shit. So it says, Animal Crossing gran Grandma purchases a Nintendo Switch. You know, Grand, I'm not real big in Animal Crossing. I'm not, I'm not real, like, a huge fan of that type of games. It's just not really, really my cup of tea. I've never, I said it uh, numerous amounts of times in the past. I'll get to the Soldier Boy one again because I just talked about him a couple days ago with him suing Fortnite. Now this other brand new news comes out from Dual Shockers. That's going to be in another one though. So it says, earlier today, the 87-year-old Animal Crossing grandma who has spent over 3,500 hours on Animal Crossing New Leaf has successfully purchased a Nintendo Switch. Hopefully I have to do a two-part in this thing. It would suck if I did. The funds were pitched by all in by all people all over the world who were touched by the Animal Crossing Grandma story. Thanks to everyone's contributions, Animal Crossing Grandma has purchased a new Nintendo Switch, or excuse me, a Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, and a copy of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu as she's a Pokemon fan. Holy sh... This is literally like the oldest Pokemon fan I've ever seen. Holy crap! Okay. I thought anyone in their early mid-30s, like how I'm about to be, was like the oldest Pokemon fan. Apparently not. Oh, shit. Okay. Now that changes a few things. I know some of my fans, not fans, but subscribers or viewers are probably real big, real big in Animal Crossing. Me, i just never been like, not really a mass appeal to me. If you watch numerous amounts of my videos in the past, you know why. So it says, um, quote, Paul Hubens. I don't know if that's her grandson or her younger, like, not niece or nephew. Who knows? Grant says thanks to all the wonderful people who pitched in to get her a Switch. So she's she's so happy, and she can't wait for the new Animal Crossing game. Oh, yeah, that comes out this year in 2019. I forgot. In the meantime, we got her a Let's Go Pikachu since she's also a Pokemon fan. All right, that's cool. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. I know there's a lot of really old, old issues and debates about um Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. It's mainly for a lot of mainstream media people, like... A lot of casual players that only got into Pokemon Go and they never played any of the original Pokemon games, which that's completely false, by the way. Because I play Pokemon Go like maybe two, three times out of the week. And I'm a really, really hardcore Pokemon fan from like way back in the Gen 1 and Gen 2 eras. From the main, the mainstream game. Not mainstream games, but more like the main um, storyline games. Where you get all the badges, you, you fight your rival, you get all the badges, you get the 8 badges or 16 badges when you're playing Gold, Silver, Crystal. Or... The remakes years later, I came out in 2010, a couple of years ago, which was Heart Gold Soul Silver. I mean, I played all of them. I played almost every single generation of Pokemon. I think Gen 8 
I may end up skipping them because I really, really want to have Diamond and Pearl remakes. I much rather prefer, I've said this a million times in my older videos, much rather prefer Diamond and Pearl remakes over Generation 8. The only way I'm probably going to talk a little bit about Generation 8 is if they have their different regional variants from older Pokemon. And if we get anything that was from Generation 4, when they get into either, like, I doubt if we're going to get um, Generation 8 uh, variants for their versions of Pokemon for Gen 4 and put them in a Gen 8. But different versions of them. Now, if we get that, or if we get like a hint of like Diamond and Pearl, like sound, sound bites and music and all that shit, or if we get like Mega Evolutions for Gen Four, we get a lot of them. Or I feel like it's probably gonna be Gen Five and Six are gonna get a lot more. Maybe a little bit of Generation Seven. I'm not here to talk about Pokemon right now. So yeah, overall thoughts, views, and opinions. I'm real happy for the old lady. I mean, she's 87 years old. Oh my God, holy crap! I doubt if I'm going to be able to live that long if I'm 78 or 80 or 90. I might. As much of a big-ass fucking dude that I am, I really hope I don't go out early. I'm just saying. Leave this world too early. Ugh, man. But I don't have the best health in the world, but I don't have the worst either. Just, I get up to 87. That'd be really awesome. I'm probably going to have a really bad Alzheimer's by then. But, yeah, let's get on to this. So I got to enjoy my last two weeks of being in my 20s before I hit my 30s at the end of this month. So it says from DualShockers.com, Soldier Boy, handheld PS Vita. <laughs> this is from Ben Walker. Um, it's not really from January 12th. It was from way earlier than that. <clears throat> so yeah, links in the description box down below if you want to read this whole thing. So it says, Soldier Boy returns with new console. And it's the PlayStation Vita knockoff. Hip-hop artist... This is literally the last time I'm talking about this piece of shit, motherfuckers. I'm really tired as fuck talking about this dude, man. Let's come back with the all-new and original console after I suspend it. The guy is comes from Ben. I don't know what his last name was, so shout out to him. Give him credit where credit is due. An un unoriginal console after a suspected Nintendo lawsuit is Soldier Boy handheld. It's a PS Vita knockoff. And I just talked about this dude when I did one of my Chat and Breeze videos about him last week. Haven't uploaded it yet, but probably going to do either today or tomorrow, who knows, um, about him and not, he was suing Epic Games or Fortnite for not putting his dance, his crank that dance, I remember this because I was a senior in high school when the shit came out, actually I was barely starting as a senior in high school, my last years at that time, back in late 2007 and 2008, oh my god, <laughs> everyone was doing it, I'm not going to lie, I did like the fuck out of his music, I was real, real big in that shit, but then again, I was a dumbass 17, 18 year old fucking kid. So, you know, it, it was what it was. I wasn't thinking straight at the time. So, this is DeAndre Cortez, known professionally as Soldier Boy. As I remember, he used to say, Soldier Boy, nigga. That type of shit. I'm just using the N word as, like, example, okay? So, so, some of these products were consoles that seemed to be direct knockoffs as Nintendo products, since, such as the Wii U and the Game Boy, they were removed without a trace in late December 2018. With the assumptions of a Nintendo lawsuit since then, since then, a brand new Soldier Game handheld has been listed as a PlayStation Vita knockoff. Way to fucking go, man. DeAndre, here just keep shooting yourself in the fucking foot, I swear. You gotta be a dumbass ass piece of shit fucking, like, Instagram, like, older, un, un irrelevant rapper of all fucking time now. You had your shine back in 07, 08, and then a little bit in 2009, and then... People don't give a fuck about you after that. You just didn't did all these other extra controversial shits about this beef with Ice T, and then years later with Chris Brown, and years later with fucking um I don't know iPhones or something, or like with the military and the FBI and the CIA. And granted, I don't like them either, but I wouldn't tell them to go f themselves or promote any harm from them because if I did, huh, my channel would be shut down and I'd probably be in prison for the rest of my life. So fuck that. All right, so Soldier Game has been listed as PlayStation Vita knockoff. Surprise! I bet you weren't expecting that, or were you? Fair enough. Now all we have to do is sit back and wait for this Sony ain't gonna do shit tweets. No offense to black people that are watching or listening to this video, but I'm just gonna do it in like not a stereotype voice, but just almost a casual type voice. So Sony ain't gonna do shit. That type of thing. <laughs> tweets to roll in. The consoles is listed as $99.99 for USD sale under a $200 MSRP. Here are the specifics for the Soldier Boy hand Soldier Game handheld, and you guys could like read all that in your own. I'm not gonna get into any of the technical like um aspects of this fake garbage ass console. So it says, "Yep, the screen resolution is 480 by 272. That means oh, 
I went way too long there. That means that that is the same resolution as the PlayStation Portable PSP from 2005. <clears throat> this thing is oh whoa hold on. This thing is a hundred dollars. It's basically ripping off the designs of PlayStation Vita and the specs of a PSP. And I doubt Soldier Boy cares. He's a production machine. Other listings on a Soldier Watch website include a knockoff Apple AirPods, an Apple Watch, and Chinese smartphone tablets. You know those cheap pieces of crap. Any of the garbage-ass Chinese knockoffs they make in China, you already know they're going to break easily after a couple days or maybe a week, if you're even lucky enough to make that cheap-ass shitty plastic that they use in those unfortunate fucking sweatshops that the Chinese people got to make. No offense to them, but man. They're going to break easily. Why do you think they do that shit on Black Friday sometimes when they sell these really 65, 70 plus inch smartphone giant, not smartphone, but smart TVs that are really wide as fuck, but they end up breaking after a couple of weeks. They don't last long. It's better to get it at the full expensive price when it's not Black Friday. I'm not like a sales marketing expert or anything. I'm just a regular dude. But man, it's better to get them more at full price, more expensively. So you're getting a fucking money's worth that last maybe four to eight years instead of like a couple of weeks or a month if you're lucky. Just saying. As I mentioned before, a series of tweets from the rapper in December 2018 took aim at Nintendo and its critics, <clears throat> assuring them that Nintendo ain't gonna do shit, and that his Game Boy and Wii lookalike is not going anywhere. Just over a week later, all traces of the tweets, tweets and consoles were removed. And Soldier Boy tweeting, I had to boss up, I didn't have a choice. The Soldier Boy handheld is available for purchase now if you want to listen to music, play games, and watch ebooks for a cheap price of $99.99. And all our thoughts, these, and opinions. I know I say the dude's name a few times here and there, but psh, shout out to this dude. He's a fucking riot. I know I've talked about this dude in the past a couple times. At least he knows how to get shit done. He knows how to do it in the right way, Protomar. And he uses the freaking shades. He uses a lot more shades than I do. The only thing is I don't use a fedora hat because <laughs> I don't want to end up being a meme if I'm doing my chat and bruise videos. You see my face. You already know I use a lot of snapbacks and fittings. That's not just a black person thing or anything. I just like using it because of the style and the sophistication and like the comfortness it gets on my head that's the reason why i like using it but yeah i'll leave the link to his video in the description box down below this, i actually watched it twice so get a good credit credits dude i know he talked about a lot more extra stuff that i didn't really get into with nintendo giving lawsuits to soldier boy and all that stuff so i'll leave the link to this video in the description box down below if you made it this far and with that being said that's it at least the good news is this um old beautiful like old lady grandma right here decided um not decided but her fans and her followers around the world decided to give her Nintendo Switch. That's showing I got a little bit of faith in humanity. Well, for the gaming side of it. Everyone else don't care too much as much. And that's it. Links to the description box down below. Out. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen. Fanboys and fangirls of Takas Niki Mornings out there. And that's it. Um, and of course, as always, the Takas Niki Mornings, like I just said. I'll see you when I see you guys. Good day, have a good night. Whatever you're out in the world out there, don't really small at the same time. So it's a reckless stage more future content channel, including... Video game industry news, anime manga news, internet news, and that wraps up the video. Take it easy, stay safe. Peace out. I'm like Star Carl Lates and bye. I'll see you on the flip side. Take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay to more future content on this YouTube channel and videos. And I'll talk to you all really soon. Later.